Welcome everyone to yet another 3ds Max WoW Machinima tutorial. Today we'll be talking about the normal animations that the WoW models come with. I will be touching on custom animations and biped animations in another video. This time we'll be touching only on the original animations that come with the models. Okay, let's get started. I been experimenting with the Draenei, so let's uh, do this clearly. Let's take something else. Let's say a Night Elf. Male and HD version. Okay, there you go. I don't want to use females in these videos because mainly I don't want to be called sexist or something like that. Eh, then a male. Nah. Okay, I don't have anything against females, duh. Okay. Let's put a weapon in his hand so we have something to work with. And maybe some poltrons, and I'll show you how to read those in case of an animation. But it's the same deal with the weapon. If you followed my other called video, you'll see how to rig shoulders and weapons. And it's the same thing. We're going to use a weapon because a weapon is one piece, while a shoulder is two pieces and it's a little more annoying. Okay, we have our guinea pig, <laughs> call him that, and let's give him something to do. Let's export the FBX like I showed you earlier. Night Elf, save. Okay, let's unselect all for a you may want more than one animation to take from this but if you let's say select this and this you'll only get one file and when you import it you only have the last one the seed one and you will lose this to do this it's easier to separate them you can do it the other way just take one OK, export again, tick one, OK, and it's very, very tedious. Like this, I'm going to select two of them. A death, and let's say kick. They're radically different, so we can see the difference between them. Let's say OK, export successfully. Alright. I'll show you the models, the um, file, so you can see what you get. Uh, GPS Max tests. And you get this. It's only one file. If I import this, I have only one animation. It's bloody. I'll show you how to do this. So, uh, no Windows 10, no. <laughs> I don't want that. You need to load up this Autodesk FBX Converter. I have 2013, you may get a newer one, but I don't think you need anything newer. I solemnly suggest that you have this, the version, paired with your 3ds Max version. But you can also have the 3ds Max 15 and this 13, but not the other way around, don't have the 3ds Max. Uh, 13 and use the 2015 version of this because I don't think they're compatible. Better to use an older thing. Okay, let I won't double click it because I have it right here and this is my trend eye. Let's close this so I can show you. Okay, let's with everything closed so you don't have this, you don't have another file open here. Click on Add FBX Tag Manager and you'll get this. Add FBX file, get the Night Elf. Select it and you have this the kick and the death. Select both of them. And. 
remember how you select where to drop. Oh, now I remember. It drops them one folder uh, near the file. I'll show you in a moment. Save one FBX file per take selected. With both of them selected, I want these to come. Press OK. Let it roll. Done. And you can see they've been saved right next to them. Let's put this in the bar and roll this up. You see the Night Elf and this is it, the Night Elf TM. You get both of them here, the Death and the Kick. Let's import them. Uh, I'll put this in Import. This is my Dren Eye. Night Elf. The Kick first. And here you want to have skins, morph, and animation. This is the most important thing, the animation. If you see, you can select both animations. Now I see this. I didn't know this. <laughs> Interesting. You can select um, animations. Uh, fill the timeline. I don't know what this does. I'm going to use my normal setup and this is my normal setup and press OK. Let it load up. It's gonna take a while because the new models are very polygon heavy. They're high poly and this takes a while. If I load it up a normal model, not the HD version, it will go like this and that. No problem. But with these, it has a shitload of bones and a shitload of polys. Let's let this load up and we'll see the animation rolling. Just think the fact that it has that uh, animation drop down may work to import. I'm going to check that once it's loaded, I'm going to check that with my normal animation, the original file and see what I get. Oh, come on! Load it up already! There you go. Okay. And here you have it. And you can see he has no sword, which is a little problem. As I showed you in the other video, you can get the sword by exporting the name. An OBJ version. Night Elf OBJ. And I'll import the sword. Okay, okay. Goodbye. There we go. This is the animation. If I roll through it, you can see it's not uh, really stationary. This foot is off the ground. It's not 100% cool. Why is this? Because the center of gravity for the animation in here let's find the kick so I can uh, give you a comparison oh come on where's the kick CKR where's KL kick there you go if you see this foot is the pivot point and the body moves compared to this, to this foot's plantation but if you look here that is not the case why? Simple. 3ds Max considers the root, something in here, there's a bone called root. That is the main um, pivot point for the entire model. And that's why it's behaving like this. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know if there is a way to fix it. Okay, I intentionally did not scroll to the last one because of this. Look. The last frame, in 80% of the chances, I, I saw a case where it didn't happen. You'll get this. It's the model is messed up. If I, you'll see. Uh, I don't think you're a contortionist, mate. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucked up. How you fix it? You select the very last frame, always the last frame, and hit delete with everything selected. Whoops! Wrong selection. Let's try this again. 
it is and hit delete. There you go. And it's still popped up. Why? Oh. Uh, I think there is still one frame. Yeah, there's still one frame wrong there. You can't find it. I That normally uh, fixes it. The last one always fixes it. I don't know why it's uh, doing that now. Something wrong. I don't think I selected it. Okay, we'll try it with the, with the other animation. Okay. Let's get the other animation. Let's reset this because I don't want contamination on my experiments. Let's try and import. I'm going to try and do the other thing now. Uh, take the, the original one. Do I have both of them? Hmm, interesting. Death. Let's try death. Um, okay. Let it load up. Interesting, so you don't need uh, the converter. Now I realize this. I didn't know about the dr that uh, drop down. Interesting. Okay, so basically this is useless. It's fine. <laughs> uh, brother. You learn something new every day. Even when you want to teach somebody else. This is interesting though. Okay. That sums that up. Oh, come on, load up. So I can show you how to add the sword. Well, adding the sword is similar to how you would do it with the normal mesh like I showed you in the other video just because simply put it's the same mesh the problem is that the hand is no longer in a stationary position it's moving okay Ooh, this has more animation interesting it has a that's not what you think it is it's not his tongue it's uh, for the tabard. If he has a tabard, it would be linked to this. Okay, let's roll it. Now, look at this one. You can see the pivot point I told you earlier. If you see, look at his uh, crutch. It's not moving. It's stationary while the entire body... Look, you see that? The entire body moves around it. And he died. Oh god. And I think he... There he dies. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure he's entirely dead. <laughs> Are you dead, mate? Uh, uh, poke, poke? Nope. Okay. Compared to this, where you have uh, F, E, D, come on, D, death, where oink, and he goes down with his crutch hitting the floor and not the... Uh, bringing his entire body up. In this case, it's... Oh my god. <laughs> That's Contortionist 101. Let's find where it's the final move. Uh, that's not one. There it is. So these have to go. And I think he, I took one more than I wanted to. Come on, he's... And now he's dead. He's actually dead. Does it blow up again? Nope. Okay, so it's not always the last one, it's more like the last few. Just experiment, you will find it. To counteract this uh, pivot thing, you will just have to animate it to move down a little while dying. Just use your imagination. I did not experiment with this because I'm a suck at animating. Trust me, I it looked like a robot if I animated. That just that's why I prefer to use cost, uh, the original animations. Okay, the lucky thing is that when uh, using the death animation, the initial pose is this, which is cool. Let's import the weapon. Okay, got everything, none, and this is the, the weapon, the only item, the rest is the character, I don't need it. Import, no errors, there you go. Let's 
make it big, big, big. I sincerely don't care how big it is because this is just an experiment. Let's send her the pivot point so we can work. And there you go. And now just position the weapon exactly where you need it. And... Come on. Position yourself. There you go. If you want, you can use the auto-align tool. I don't really like it. And now, just hide this. Align it better. And just this. Select the link. Drag from the sword to this. Not the palm, but the lower arm. Remember to always select object back because you will get this and it may mess up your model. Let's test it out. I linked it to the wrong one. <laughs> Shit. Uh, come on, which one is it? That one. Yeah, that one. So let's try again, this to this. I sh I'll show you how to clean up your model because it has too many bones and it's very annoying. And it causes these problems. Okay, there you go. You can see I... Okay, unhide all. There you go. As you can see I aligned it bad. Let's put it back, put it lower. And it still works even if I do this. There we go. Hide it, select it, unhide. Still working. And oh god. Ah, it's because yeah. It's because I deleted that bone. You see here? I deleted the bone and the model had linked to it. Never mind. Just don't delete the bones. <laughs> Sorry, just try to select the correct bone. And as you see, in absence of that bone, you get that snagging thing. So never delete bones. I just did it fast. And there you go. His weapon is also dead. So why it's under him? I don't understand. Can I not die like that? With their weapons under them? I never tested it. I never played an idol. Well, at least not the newer model. Okay, never mind that. <laughs> and that's how you do it. I hope this helps you in using the pre-made animations. And I'm going to go into custom animations because that's very hard. I'm going to show you biped animations in another video and custom, but as I said, I don't have any challenge for them. It's robot. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like, please like, share, and maybe subscribe for more. Comments are good. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you. See ya.